we use hops in beer for flavor. You, it's spice, of, like uh, spice in a soup or spice in a meal. It really brings the character, brings the malt alive. If you just have malt in the beer, you're basically going to have kind of a sweet beverage. Because hops is such a, is really a nascent or, or new crop uh, in New Jersey, um, there's really quite a lot of questions from growers. How can we actually measure the quality of these hops? So we actually had the ability to uh, do those measurements that they didn't necessarily have. So Rutgers is helping the hop farmers by uh, utilizing the tools that uh, we have within uh, the Agricultural Experiment Station. This instrument's called a gas chromatograph. It separates the volatile compounds in hops, detect them, identify them, and quantify them. And ultimately, the quantified compound data is what we'll uh, give to growers, and they can in turn give to breweries. It provides assistance in real time as to when a grower needs to or can harvest their hops, and also for a microbrewery to be able to have a better handle on their control and the brewery process itself. High quality hops are important for beer because it relates to the quality of the finished product. If I use low quality hops, you would detect all the off flavors that a poor quality hops would show in a product. For flying fish, and I'm sure all breweries, consistency is a, of huge importance. So when we get our hops, you really need to know what the alpha acid and the beta acids are. If someone came to us and said, we have this great batch of local hops, but I can't tell you any specifics. It's kind of like somebody saying, here's a bottle of hot sauce, and I don't know if it's a mild hot sauce or if it's the ghost pepper death hot sauce, but just use two tablespoons. You really need to know those numbers uh, to brew professionally. By Rutgers being able to analyze uh, the hops, it'll, it'll generate a whole new crop for our New Jersey farmers, and that's a great thing for everybody.